Hi! Okay, so we're gonna read this. There are 350 students at Gray Middle School and 42% are female. What is the total number of female students at Gray Middle School? Let's get started by following the problem solving strategy on the right side. We're gonna circle or underline. In our case, we do highlight. In my first sentence, I know it is important to say 350 students. So it looks like those are all the students they have. Also, they said 52% are female. What is the total number of female students at grade middle school? So now they want to know the total number, not percent, number of female students. We did underline or circle. In our case, it's highlight. Now we're going to box the question. Find the total number of female students. Since in this problem, I have percent, like I see 42% female, uh, they give me total. I'm gonna do the strategy of the proportion box. And also I'm gonna remember something that is very important as far as vocabulary. I'm gonna bring that poster, so please hold on. This one is important because the word 100% means the same as whole, everything, total, everyone, all, all that. For example, if we have a cake and we're gonna say 100% of the cake, that means the whole cake. If we wanna say 100% of the students in Mrs. Harry's class, we mean all the students. And that's why we say the whole cake, everything, total, everyone, all, all that, etc. That's gonna be important in this question. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna identify what is my 100% in this situation? Because I saw that in this question we have percent in here. So I'm gonna use a color to highlight that percent. That's gonna be, that is very important here. So I'm gonna put a K here around. I'm gonna put this in pink. 42% are female. Since I have percent in here, I'm gonna try to figure by myself what number represents 100%. And then, awesome, you're right guys. So here they said that all the students are 350. That's all the students at grade middle school. That represents what percent? A hundred percent. Awesome. So if I say that at the beginning, this, uh, this proportion box is going to help me to represent the quantity. At the very beginning, we start with no students. That will be like zero students here. I'm going to write here zero students. And then if I go all the way and I put all, every single student in this box, let's say that will be, if I want to say all of them, that's going to be 100%. And that is in percent. In number, all the students will be 350. This will be all the students. And then if I want to make an estimation, halfway will be uh, what percent, everyone? 50%. Awesome. I know that 350 students will be 100%. And then notice that here I highlighted students in blue, so I'm going to put it in blue. On the, on the bottom, I know that 100% will be all the students. So I'm going to differentiate between the numbers and the percent representation. So that's what I'm using, two different colors. Okay, and now I'm going to focus now on the question. The question is, what is the total number of female students? But we know they have 42%. 42% is less than 50%. It could be probably here. I'm going to write 42% on this one. And since this is on the percent side, I'm going to highlight this in pink. Any number we figure goes in this box right here, that should be the number of 42%. Great. So here will be the value that we don't know. And this will be the female student. And since we use already blue to identify the numbers on this other side, I'm going to highlight this in blue too. Now, this, guys, can be a proportion. Remember how we used proportions in the questions before when we had ratios? And now we see why cross product works. You, if you have questions about why cross product works, please go to the videos for this same objective, 7.4b, questions 1, 3, 5, and 7. Great. So now here we're going to say... When we don't know the number, we know the percent is 42. And also we know that 350 students represents in this situation are 100%. And I'm going to color code just to remember from where I'm getting my numbers. This number, I got it from here. And this number, I got it from here. Now we're going to highlight with B. Goes like this. So now to figure this value in here, 
all what we have to do is multiply the two numbers across and then we can divide by the number that we haven't used yet. So I'm going to do my operations here on the bottom section. So here I'm going to write operations. So I'm going to write that to find x, we have to multiply these two numbers across. We need to multiply 350 students times 42% and then at the end we're going to divide by 100. Great. And I'm going to highlight the numbers so we can see from where we got them. This is the one we're looking for. 350, we got it from when we highlighted in blue. Then we're going to have 42 and 100 here. Okay, great. Also, notice here, guys. Notice that we have a fraction, and we can simplify fractions, so we can make our operations friendlier. If I divide 350 divided by 100, it will be the same as reducing 350 and 100 by the same quantity. So we can reduce this 350 and this 100 by one place value. This actually, it will be the same as 35 times 42, everything divided by a 10. This is the same because we drop a zero here and we drop a zero here. You see that, guys? Okay, so now I'm going to do this multiplication. 35 times 42. I'm going to do it here on the side. 35 times 42. Can you multiply with me? Thank you. 2 times 5, 10. Zero and we carry 1. 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 6. Plus 1, 7. Great. We put, we're going to use this placeholder. 4 times 5, 20. 0 and I carry 2. 4 times 3, 12. Plus 2, 14. Great. We're going to add our numbers. 0, 7, 4, and 1. Great. So far, we finished this multiplication. Now what we're going to do is divide by this 10 right here. So I'm going to do 1,470 divided by 10. We are multiplying also by a power of 10. When I, multi when I divide by a power of 10, such as 10, 100, and 1,000, this number here, because we are dividing, is going to get reduced. And how many place values is going to get reduced? It's going to get reduced as many place values we have here. So we can reduce one place value in the divisor and one place value in the dividend. And now they become just one simple division. So we have 1 into 147. That will be 147. Because 1 times 147 is 147. We do our subtraction. And that's the remainder. So what we figure here is that the value of x equals 147 students. This value goes here. We're going to highlight our answer in this color, and then I'm going to put also red around. And I'm going to come and look for my answer in my, in my answer choices. Awesome, guys. So we did circle, underline, elaborate. We did a proportion box, and we solved our question. Great job. Thank you, guys.